I'm just vibing. <laughs> hello there. What was that with my hand? I don't know, but hello there. Welcome back to my channel. Um, wow, I'm doing an actual intro for once. Can you believe it? Do I, <laughs> do I have like my life together or what? Um, the answer is no, I, I do not um, have my life together, but that's, that's, you know, on brand. I guess, but hi, um, I'm Christiane, by the way, in case you guys don't know who I am, um, or if you guys are unfortunate to um, sadly know who I am, <laughs> um, but welcome back to my channel. <coughs> Already have to clear my throat, we love that, but um, I am here because today we are celebrating Pride Month because today is July 3rd. That can't be right. <laughs> that, that can't. <laughs> uh, okay, listen. Um, I'm a little late to the game, but I'm sure it's fine. We're just we're celebrating the end of pr that. We're not celebrating the end of Pride. That doesn't sound right either. Um. Okay. Basically, I'm bad at planning. Um, and that's how we'll leave it at that. I mean, I did go on a Disney trip in the middle of June when I could have been working on this kit instead. So, um, yeah, that's my excuse. Um, we're just going to change things up by celebrating Pride in the beginning of July. Yay, I'm good at planning videos and my life fireworks. Anyways, hi. <laughs> so, um, in honor of Pride being over, again, that doesn't sound right, in honor of Pride Month, that just happened, um, I decided to wear my Lion King shirt that I got at Disneyland. Um, why did I decide to wear it? Because since it's Pride Month, um, and it's lions, and a group of lions is called a, a, a pride, and insert the joke here somewhere. I thought it was funny. I'm not funny, <laughs> so I'm wearing this, but yeah, um, oh yeah, we're working on the pride kit, by the way, and this is me with my hands showing that it is going to be on top of my face so that I can save or spare you guys um, a moment of having to stare at this. <laughs> but yeah, we're working on pride today and I started the pride. Okay. Let's, let's take it. Let's rewind it back. This kit came out in December of 2020. This is when it was first introduced the kit called pride by Jojo's art. It's beautiful rainbows. We love it. Um, so I bought it, um, as soon as it came out end of 2020 and I got it and I started working on it. Um, I think, I think summer of 2021, but I had to put a stop to it because then in September I moved in with Spencer at, at this place that we're at, this mess that I've created. So I had to put it aside and basically now since it's Pride Month or was Pride Month, um, I decided to finish it for you guys. Um, I'm done with it, by the way. I finished it. It's done. It looks great. It's on the floor. Not, it's not where it belongs, but um, it's done. She's beautiful. You'll get to see it. Um, as always, I never say this, but as always, I've linked the kit down below for you guys to check out if you're interested. Um, I don't know if it's like available, like if it's in stock right now. Um, I'm not going to go check. You can do that. <laughs> I'm so good at YouTube stuff. Yay. Anyways, I'm going to be working on this kit for you guys and I'm very excited to work on it. This is me talking in past tense in the future and the, just anyways, it's fine. You guys don't care. But, um, you know, going into this, um, I had, I want to say like approximately like maybe a quarter of it done. Um, I had finished the parrot, which is on the right hand side and a little bit above that. So almost a quarter of it done. And I set myself the challenge to finish it in five days. Did I finish it in five days? Stay tuned if I, I did not. I no spoiler alert, I did not. Um, I only finished it maybe 30 minutes ago. Yay, I love my life. 
fantastic. Why did I think I could do that? I don't know. I'm fast at diamond painting, but I'm not that fast. Let me tell you guys that. Anyways, I'm going to um, pull out all of my drills and everything from this kit, and I'm gonna show you guys how I used to diamond paint. Like, another method that I would do to, to, to do, do, did I have a stroke? Am I okay? Okay, that wasn't funny. I'm sorry, but uh, <laughs> I'm gonna basically show you guys how I used to kit up my kits. I had a couple different ways, but this is the very first way that I would kit up my kits, and I don't know what was wrong with me. So this right here, in case you don't know what it is, this is a craft mates craft binder thing. Basically, it's a binder. Um, that you can snap close and when you open it you have these wonderful plastic um, containers that are connected um, and they're like small compartments where you can store beads or in this case drills. Let me pull one out for you guys. So I got one here for you guys right here and so you can fit, I can count, you can fit seven <laughs> different colors in each row and it's a decent amount of space for drills in my honest opinion, which I'm sure you guys are just thrilled to hear about. <laughs> but I put I would put the Diamond Art Club stickers on there and that's how I would kit up. But the only issue with this is that it can only fit um, 28 colors. And if you know Diamond Art Club kits, basically almost all of them have more than 28 colors. So what did my special brain decide to do for the rest of the colors? I used baggies for the rest of the colors because, um, yep, that's my answer. So that's what I did with this wonderful thing. I don't know what's wrong with me. So a little information about this kit. This, um, this kit is 112 centimeters by 56 centimeters, so it's fairly large and it has two AB colors. As you can see them right here, we've got 121 and 138. That is not focused 100%, but honestly, it's fine. So um, real quick, I feel like Craftmate storage, um, I think it's great if you're doing like a smaller kit with less colors, but if you're having to have like multiple different ways to store the drills in one kit, I find that annoying. So that's why I prefer like Harbor Freight containers or um, Elizabeth Ward containers. But that's just my silly poo poo brain um, opinion. <laughs> take it, take what you will with. Okay, anyway, so yep, there's that. Life goes up and it goes down. I know my mom taught me that I figured why we fool around so little and we keep track of time being so serious idiots thinking it will matter keep me company downtown before the clock runs out sun is shining but the rain is welcome to friends are nearby don't need another view time is not on my mind but then it's you oh All things must pass But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up I'm not ready, let me have another day Don't wake up, wake up Keep it steady, cause I'm happy I'm not gonna wake up No, no, not yet, whoa No, not yet, whoa No, no, not yet, whoa I'm afraid I'll end up nowhere They keep saying And it feels like I'm lying every time Someone ask how it goes And I save the details that actually mean something mm -hmm. Sun is shining but the rain is welcome to Friends are nearby, don't need another view Time is not on my mind but then it's you Oh Things must pass But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up I'm not ready, let me have another day Don't wake up, wake up Keep it steady, cause I'm happy I'm not gonna wake up no, no, no.
steady cause I'm happy I'm not, I'm not gonna wake up to hop in here real quick to show you guys something that I realized very quickly when um, working on this kit again and it's it's a something <laughs> it's a, it's it's a fact but um, all of these colors have a mixture of resin drills and acrylic drills is this revolutionary? Not really, but it, I thought it was interesting. <laughs> it doesn't matter really, honestly, but um, I think it's interesting. But basically, I've noticed that with these drills, it is, I want to say it's basically like 90% drills, 90% of the drills are resin, 10% are acrylic, approximately. And the reason that I noticed that, um, these drills were a mixture of both was when I would pour the drills into my tray and shake it some of my some of the drills were bouncing out of my tray which is for me I noticed a lot more common when I'm working with acrylic drills and so I was like curious and so I started flipping over the drills that were bouncing out of my tray and they were they got that acrylic dimple in there so they were definitely um acrylic drills in there which i thought was really interesting honestly um and having a dimple in the back of the drill on the flat part of the drill is um is a big key factor in knowing if you're dealing with acrylic drills now was it a problem 
in my personal opinion, that they were a mixture of both. No, literally didn't really notice a difference. Um, can I look at the finished canvas and be able to pick out which ones are resin and which ones are acrylic? Nope. <laughs> And it did not really, you know, affect my experience in working on this kit. Um, all it does is tell me that Diamond Art Club's previous drill manufacturer definitely wasn't honest about being 100% resin. The end. That's the story, because Diamond Art Club makes their own drills. They're always resin. So this is kind of a redundant Thing I'm telling you guys, but I think it's interesting. Maybe you guys would be interested to know this as well. And maybe for those of you who might have this kit in their stash, and if you bought it um, around the same time I did, which was December and January of 2020 slash 2021, um, you might come across acrylic drills as well in your DAC kit. So there's the information. Take, take it and take what, you know what, just, it's fine. Yep. You, you have the information now. Enjoy. <laughs> Um, but I am not honestly impressed with their choice of ABs. Well, okay, listen, nowadays you can buy a Di Diamond Art Club kit and it could have like six, D six um, AB drills, different colors with like a beautiful like arrangement of them and they look fantastic. Um, I just think that Diamond Art Club kind of missed an opportunity <laughs> with this kit because the only ABs we've got are 127 and 138, excuse me, and there's not, there weren't a lot in this kit. Kind of a, to me, almost like a random splattering of where the ABs go, and I don't know, I just feel like they could have put more in and used more, especially with the blue. So that's, that's that on that fact. Um, and yes, even some of the AB drills were acrylic. Like I said, it's every single color because I looked, I checked because I'm weird.
so fragile When you know yourself well Somewhere down the sweet line When I do things for me Cause I don't wanna be Be a therapy, I wanna be free So Ooh Gotta go and grab a spoon now Ooh Make a life for myself Ooh I don't know what I'm gonna do now Ooh But I don't need your help Get out of my way My way I'm moving on up Don't make me just stay Do a stay I'm done being stuck Get out of my way My way I'm moving on up The last thing I will ever do for you Is wish you the best of love La 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 I know, you know It's time you let me go Don't call, don't follow Cause I'll do a fight on my own I know, you know It's time I let you go Don't call, don't follow Cause I'll be gone Get out of my way, my way I'm moving on up Don't make me just stay Do a stay I'm done being stuck Get out of my way, my way I'm moving on up The last thing I will ever do for you Is wish you the best of luck La 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 Get out of my way La 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 Get out of my way Um, another thing is the rendering of this kit is something and the tiger and the dragon look amazing. Okay, basically what I'm trying to say is that the rendering for everything looks amazing except for the girl's face. Let me, I'll show you guys that in a second. So, um, this is her face. Um, how do I, how do I say this? Homegirl isn't looking too hot. Let's just, <laughs> let's just leave it at that. Um, I feel like, is she okay? Like, girl, are you, you, you good? You, you okay? Like, are you okay? Um, oh God. Yeah. So this is um, my least favorite part, honestly, which is kind of sad. Um, cause it's a really beautiful person and I see her as um, a POC, which means person of color in case you guys didn't know that. But yeah, here she is, unfortunate looking. <laughs> That's so mean, but um, I definitely basically, basically I feel like the way that they could have fixed this was to make the kit larger, which I feel like they made the kit perfectly large enough to show off the parrot, the tiger, the dragon and everything else off beautifully, like show that show it off beautifully but um, her face is rather unfortunate looking. <laughs>
So you guys, there it is. I'm in love with how it turned out. Um, we're gonna probably hang it up above Lincoln Zelda over there, so you might see her in the background in future videos. But I am in love with how it turned out, and I'm really glad that I could get this um, off of my whip list because she's been on there for, I think, a whole year. So, so glad that she's finished. I'm so glad I got to start it. I started it in the end of June, so technically it's still Pride Month. It's fine. I, yeah, I definitely am very happy with how it turned out and I'm very excited to start working on the next kit. Um, I won't be having you guys vote on another kit because I still need to do on, do the kit on the last one that you guys voted on, but I will tell you guys that Krabby Patties definitely won. So I will be working on Krabby Patties in the next Diamond Art Club related video. Um, so stay tuned for that. That will be happening um, this month, I promise, but it won't be happening next week. <laughs> But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I don't really say this often, but um, if you liked it, leave a thumbs up um, and subscribe if you guys are interested in more content like this. Um, oh, and leave a, leave a comment. Let me know um, what you think of her face. <laughs> um, let me know which part of the kit is your favorite, like which animal is your favorite. Um, I was sad that I had already done the parrot in, in the like before starting this kit for you guys on camera but you guys will get a nice up close look at it he is really cute um the tiger's face and the dragon's face look really good and the fishies are cute i just love everything about it i could go on and on about it as i'm sure you can tell <laughs> but i'll let you guys go um thank you so much for your patience with me while i've been having kind of um not consistent uploads. I mean, I try, I've i been still doing it basically once a week, but it's not a consistent day at this point because I am working a full-time job, started a new, a new full-time job as some of you guys know, and that's kind of a big adjustment that I'm going through. But um, I think as I get in the swing of things in this new job, I'll definitely be able to have a more consistent schedule, especially now that I'm back from vacation. <laughs> I think vacation allowed me um, a few extra days where I sh probably should have started back up again, but it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> My next vacation won't be until December, so things will be great until then. But yeah, so thank you so much, guys, um, and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Why did I say it like that? Oh, God. Okay, bye.